I'm stood at the start of the Leeds Liverpool Canal in Granary Wharf. They've redeveloped this area and it really is a pleasant area to be now. Over here we have a restaurant and hotel. Across here is the main railway station, Leeds Railway Station, up there on the, on the viaduct. Over here and we have some places for canal boats to moor up and some accommodation here, some really nice apartments. This is another view of Granary Wharf and at the end there is the lock that takes the canal down onto the River Eyre. And this is the view of the start of the canal leading away from the basin along the 126 miles to Liverpool. This is the view down at the start of the Leeds-Liverpool Canal at the Leeds end where it joins the River Eyre. And you can see down there the lock that leads from the canal into the river. Just pan around to show you some of the view up here. There's Bridgewater Place there. Had some trouble uh, previously with high winds knocking people over at ground level, but they've solved all those problems now. And this is a, a pan across the city of Leeds. Splendid city, great city to live in. And this is the view in the direction we'll be walking. The route that, in due course, will reach Liverpool. I believe 126 miles. A delightful walk all the way. A tunnel at the top, of course, as it passes through the Pennines. But well, we're going to start on it today and see how far we get. We're just over half a mile in and we've got this wonderful mixture of the old and the new. Here's a bridge which is probably 150 years old. Beautiful stone built bridge. And here you've got all the modern skyscrapers being built around it. In fact, this bridge is part of a long viaduct. You just see over the top of the fence there, the numerous arches, beautifully built. We've seen one lock where the wharf area goes down into the river air. We saw one at the end of the wharf lifting the boats onto the canal and here we have a, another lock coming up. Does it get much better than this? Beautiful sunny day, a lovely old mill here, Castleton Mill, boats moored on the canal and a nicely made up path to make the walking very easy. It doesn't get any better. One and a half miles in, and it's just magical. The water is crystal clear. I can't show it on the camera, but you can see right to the bottom of the canal. And as you walk along in this very countryfied area, there's all sorts of signs of its industrial past with these works on the left. At 1.7 miles, you come to Armley Mill. This is an industrial museum that lies alongside the canal. Extensive, a lot of machinery to see, a lot of mechanical things you can get close up to and touch. Thoroughly recommend Armley Mill. Uh, won't be doing it today though, I've done it several times in the past. Armley Mill, 1.7 miles from the start. At 2.1 miles, we've got a marina on our right, fenced off from the canal path here. Very little activity in there. Looking back down over the marina. Three miles from our start and it's just idyllic. Beautiful for canal path walking. Can't think of anywhere better.
3.6 miles. And just over on our right we can see the ruins of Kirkstall Abbey. Just on the four mile mark and we've come to a couple of locks here. This is forge locks and it's actually three locks in succession. There's a turning here off of the canal path. Signposted to Kirkstall Forge, Butler's Cafe and the train station. 4.7 miles and we've reached another flight of locks. Looks like another three in front of us here. This is a view back along the way we've just walked at the five mile mark. On the side the canal path here it's been built up really high. If you look over the wall here you can see we're at roof level of the houses beneath. It's almost a, an aqueduct we're on, well not quite. That's the view of the countryside as we pass through it. Just passing a few houses with waterfront gardens. Delightful spot. Just short of the six and a half mile mark, we've come to the Rodley Barge Freehouse on the other bank. But uh, just a few yards down here, there is a lock, so it is possible to cross to it if you're in need of refreshment and if it's open. Well the uh, lock is actually a swing bridge but that's where you cross over to get to the pub. A little busier down here looking down the canal. A little further down we've even got some canoeists in the water. A bit more activity here. Some kneeling boards and some canoes and general activity occurring and this is just over the six and a half mile mark at Rodley. Eight point eight miles just passed under this rather nice wrought iron bridge. Just over the nine mile mark and we've reached Appley Bridge Marina on our left. Nine point four miles and we come to some very tall locks here. And the board tells us these are Dobson locks. Looking back the way we've just come up. Ten and a half miles in, and it doesn't get much more rural or scenic. And this. Another flight of locks here. And these are field locks. This one has just passed through the locks and is now mooring up. Twelve and a quarter mile in, still very rural. Occasionally there's a train passes us nearby. At the moment they're passing on the left side, but they have been passing on the right side. But uh, very rural, very peaceful, really glorious walk. We're coming up to 13 miles now, and this is the town of Shipley. And uh, we're shortly going to end our walk. Anyway, this is Shipley, and this is the way we're heading still at just 13 miles. I'm looking back the way I've just walked up. I'm coming off the path here now, 13 and a quarter miles in Shipley, at the junction with the A657. I chose that junction because it's very close to the railway station here in Shipley, and I can get a train straight back into Leeds to complete my day's outing. 
it has been a fantastic walk on this canal path. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, certainly one of the best. I've done it before and I'd certainly want to do it again. So that's Leeds to Shipley on the Leeds to Liverpool Canal. Till the next time.